Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I'll introduce only two characters. Because I don't want to make the mistake of telling you guys information that you've already heard from previous videos. I just have to be sure. And it's going to be, believe it or not, a mother and daughter scenario. So keep that in mind, you know? I'll introduce you the mother first. I just hope that this is worth it for you guys. Bear with me, please. Whitney. Real name? None. Height and weight? Varied. Status? Villain turned hero. An expert witch. Base? Mobile. Intelligence? Five brains. Behavior? Witty, intellectual, and caring. She's always confident, even when her magic fails at the worst possible time. Lethality. Deadly to most opponents. She always knows the best spell to use. Weaknesses. She hates it when her magic doesn't go as intended. Powers. She has a near-infinite level of magic. She could travel the cosmos on her magic broomstick, She's also a good guesser, has a photographic memory, and can drive, and has the drive to make things better. Eyes, deep purple, hair, brownish black, and shoulder length. Origin. During her plot to destroy the U.S., Voodoo chose to create a powerful witch as a servant to her for her new scheme. Voodoo used her dark magic and created a young witch with magic that rivals her own powers, and later named her Whitney. After a time, she commanded Whitney to make disasters all over the globe, until she traveled to the United States and started fighting against a shape-shifting vehicle calling herself Cassandra. During the fight, luck had arrived to stop the commotion, thus defeating Cassandra. When Whitney started to consider luck as a threat, luck used her powers and made her understand friend from foe. Realizing that she was created by a genocidal witch, Whitney betrayed Voodoo and be defeated her with help from Luck. Since then, Whitney would do all that's needed to protect the innocents, as well as found to destroy Voodoo and her diabolical plans. Costume: She wears a purple. She wears purplish black witch clothes. Teams: Solitary, or with other heroes. So it's inspiration. Witches. Here's the second character I'm going to introduce. I already told you about her husband, Illusion, in previous videos, so just so you guys know. If you want to hear more about Illusion, you could try to look it up in previous videos if you want. It's all on you. Here's the next and last character. Charm. Real name, none. Height, 6 feet, varied. Weight, 177 pounds, varied. Status, hero, and daughter of Whitney and Illusion. Base, New York City, Mobile. Intelligence, four and a half brains. Behavior, witty, flirtatious, and intellectual. She enjoys helping her parents and protecting the innocents from most danger. Lethality, highly lethal. She's also completely unexpected. Weaknesses, being rivaled. She's sometimes too weird to be trusted. Powers, she has near-infinite magic powers, invisibility, teleportation, transfiguration, mass alteration, and martial arts skills. She also has a lopsided sense of humor, making her unpredictable in battle. Eyes, goldish green, hair, tannish gold. Origin. One time, Whitney and Illusion created a daughter with their magic who they caringly named Charm. Once she got into adolescence, Charm developed her magic powers and was an expert at sorcery within a matter of weeks. One day, Charm learned that her parents were having trouble with Oni and Sidra in Tokyork and almost lost their lives. In an act of heroism, Charm turned herself into something that looked like Ultramorph in a pink ballerina suit and saved her parents from the deadly attackers. Afterwards, Charm was congratulated by her parents and was since marked as a cherished hero for the innocents. Costume. She dresses in both formal and casual wear. Teams. Solitary with her parents and other heroes. What's inspiration? 
sorcery, and adolescence. Just so you know, Tokyo York is a California city native to the default Earth in my Leviathan universe. The name Tokyo York is a combination between the names Tokyo and New York. And I hope it's not faulty or anything like that. Well, those are the two characters. I hope you enjoyed the videos and great news. Turns out my San Diego 2.5 video, that particular video, is now my second most successful video that I've made as of so far. Literally one below my very first video, The Spark. So I hope that's something in terms of social recognition. And I'm also planning to go to Fan X sometime between the 21st and the 23rd, and I really hope that I could get some business cards, at least a hundred of them, so that way I could hand them out to people, so that way they could be able to find out my uh, podcast and blog in their own free will and such. I just hope that it's worth it for everyone, you know? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below and share if you want. It's your choice. It's all on you. I hope you guys have a fine rest of September and such. Until next time, in transmission.